and good afternoon to one and all. This is a video lecture on the poem Real Estate by Sebastian. This poem was originally written in Malayalam and was translated from Malayalam by Dr. B. Kerala Varma. Sebastian wrote this poem mainly with the intention of making us aware of the problems the nature has to undergo because of our actions. As, as a result, the nature has to undergo a lot of problems. Before going in detail to the poem, let's read the poem. Real Estate by Sebastian Clear limpid stream, waveless, clear cloudless sky, in perfect harmony. No time to waste, before the river swells with waves, let's lift it. Gently, no jerking, no spilling, before the clouds fill the sky. Let's lower it softly, no part falling off or slipping off our hands. At some point in the vast void, let's put them one on top of the other and glue them hard that they don't part again. O oh, men of trade, buying and selling, you have eaten up the earth. Listen to my humble plea. Don't cast your covetous eyes on this. This is the poem. Now coming in detail to the poem. The first stanza of the poem is clear limpid stream, waveless, clear cloudless sky in perfect harmony. So in the first stanza of the poem, two images are presented before us and that is a clear limpid stream that is a clear transparent stream which is waveless and a clear cloudless sky which is transparent and both are in perfect harmony these are the two perfect images presented before us in the beginning of the poem and moving towards uh, the second stanza Sebastian is trying to say that there is no time for we human beings to waste and before the river swells with ways we have to lift this river and how should we lift it that's being addressed in the third stanza gently no jerking no spilling we should lift the river gently no jerking without shaking and not even a drop to be spilled we should be very careful in the act of lifting the river this is what sebastian speaks now moving to the second image about the cloudless sky. So he says that before the clouds fill the sky, let's lower it softly, no part falling off or slipping off our hands. In the first stanza, uh, Sebastian. In the first answer, Sebastian has already mentioned a cloudless sky. So he now says that before the clouds fill the sky, what, have, what are we supposed to do? We should lower the sky. We should let's lower it softly, no part falling. Here also he is mentioning that we should be very careful in the act of lowering the sky. So the two tasks we are supposed to do is lifting the river and lowering the sky. These two tasks are we mentioned in this poem. Then towards, then where are we supposed to keep these two things, the lowered sky and the lifted river? That's being... Uh, that's been told in the next few lines or slipping off our hands at some point in the vast void let's put them one on top of the other and glue them hard that they don't part again then what are we supposed to do we are supposed to glue these two things the lowered sky and the lifted river together we should glue them together so they that they don't get separated we should glue them hard together so that they are not separated at all and we should keep them in a vast void or in an empty place we should glue them together and put them in a vast void or an empty space towards the end of the poem he's addressing the men of trade and he says oh men of trade buying and selling you have eaten up the earth listen to my humble plea don't cast your covetous eyes on this so he's saying oh men of trade oh the real estaters please don't cast your covetous eyes that is don't cast your evil eyes on this piece of land or this new world created by us which is the new world the new world that is created by lifting the river and lowering the sky please don't cast your evil eyes on this new world this is the request of uh, sebastian to the uh, people or the men of trade so this poem is actually a criticism of or about the greed of men that is the men always try to conquer the earth they are always trying to destroy the earth this is what is uh, told in this poem real estate 